guys so really quick you guys just seen that I just made me some tea really quick my voice is just out of here I look like a mess y'all like I don't know what attacked me what has got my immune system down the allergies are just like very high for me right now like I am feeling a hot mess but <laughs> we're still getting through this we're still gonna push through this we're still gonna clean one thing in our house but I'm gonna show you what I'm having for dinner I've been enjoying showing you guys what I'm having for dinner just cheap really quick weeknight meals um, for me and the babes and my son if he wants that um, if not then I can always make him something different but um, tonight we're gonna have I think I told you guys we were gonna have soft tacos so we was in the Tishley folks been having um, the jambalaya chicken and sausage jambalaya but I just didn't want to I just didn't feel like it like this morning I just I was just like sneezing coughing and all that crazy stuff and um, my voice has literally like <laughs> It's bad but anyways you guys let me just go through this really quick for y'all because it's just gonna be so super simple we're gonna have some ground turkey uh, meat you can pick whatever meat of choice for your soft tacos uh, for seasoning we're just doing minced garlic my favorite Weber's roasted garlic and herb you guys seen when I mixed this yesterday when I cleaned up the season cabinet the rest of our taco seasoning some of that and this is old, old El Paso and then in here it's not like no salt at all so I'm gonna go in and just hit it with a little bit of Himalaya not a lot just a little bit some sour cream um, some tomatoes just regular staples some organic mozzarella for myself and then some organic Mexican style cheese for babe and then I just got some of the Ben's Original Ready Rice Spanish Style with tomatoes and peppers. This is really, really good. And also, if you didn't want to spend that much on, you know, just rice in general, use the, um, get the Target brand rice, uh, Spanish rice, because it, it tastes so freaking good. I think I showed you guys once before the rice that I got already. Um, but it's in the same pack, um, but just different colors, just a good and gather Spanish rice. But they do have like different kinds of rice um, that you can choose for that um, that costs way less. But I just wanted some Uncle Ben's tonight because um, I hadn't had it in a while. I did get the uh, shredded ice bread lettuce. And then I did get some of the flour tortillas. These are the 10, the 10 <laughs> 8 inch um, tacos. So there's 10 and there's pretty much 8 inch taco shells in there. And so that's pretty much it. It's like a quick weeknight meal. It's not going to take me that long. Probably like 5 or 10 minutes just to fix this up. I already got the stove going. I'm going to put this pan back over there because I didn't want to burn the oil. I love this oil. If you can get your hands on it, grab it. It is so freaking good. It's the Good & Gather Signature Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Mild and Classic. It's so freaking good. Um, I wish that they would have like a avocado one, um, but they don't. So I just stick with that one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make these tacos up. I'll show you the plate, and then we'll get to cleaning. So today we're going to be deep cleaning the trash can because it is time to deep clean my trash can. I normally deep clean three times out the month. So this will be the first time in October that I clean out the trash. Whenever you clean out your trash, make sure you write that down, jot it down, and put it on your fridge. Post it on your fridge somewhere so that you can keep accountable on um, when to deep wash your trash can again I normally just know when to deep clean my trash can because the inside looks very disgusting and then you have all these little uh, food particles in the bottom of your trash can and then on the outside of the trash can you can see those little brown speckle marks on there so 
I don't know what's going on in the back here. But, yeah, it's the same thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and sit you guys up here. Hopefully, you can see me washing this trash can out. The things that I like to use in my trash can, just to make my trash can smell really, really good, um, is my Fabuloso Bleach Alternative. And I'm probably going to use the rest of it today. And I'm going to go to grab some more tomorrow when I go to Target. Um, and then I have some bleach, more bleach solution here inside of this bottle right here. Um, with white trash cans, you can definitely bleach the crap out of your white trash cans. I have done it. Um, and if you come in, if you can get these uh, little mini uh, magic eraser, Mr. Clean magic eraser sheets, um, they're the thin ones. I got these literally on sale at Target. Um, I think they were original price was like three something, four something, and I got them for an easy one, one dollar something. <laughs> So yeah, it's just a little thin sheet, and I mean it helps a lot. And then after we get through drying our trash can, we're gonna need a trash bag. And literally, I already got trash waiting on this trash can. Like I literally got trash waiting on it. So let's go ahead and pour our Fabioso bleach alternative, our little solution here. And when I like when I pour, pour my stuff in there. I just kind of go around the edges, just like so. If you wanted to put some water in there, you could definitely put some water in there. I kind of check around the edges just to make sure we don't have any leakage going on here. Um, and then after that, that's when I put my other bleach solution in there which I'm going to go ahead and open right now and I just kind of place that in there I don't put a lot just put enough um, I'm one of those type of people where I like to smell but right now I'm not able to smell anything <laughs> just gonna put the rest of that in there and we're gonna just deeply deep clean wash this trash out I'm not afraid to put my hand, my arm inside this trash, you guys, because I know that it's getting clean once I put my hand in here. If you have a, like a trash top, you can definitely, um, y'all have to wipe my nose real quick because my nose is running so bad. It is definitely the time of year for my allergies to start up. Guys, I want I wish you could smell this. It smells so amazing. I take some of that product and I come on the outside. Like I don't care if it gets on my floor, you guys, because I'm just gonna mop it up anyways. trash for a while you guys I got this at the discount and um, I was able to find another one I love this trash I don't want to get rid of it but at some point I know once I get ready to move this trash is not coming with me so I want to keep it up because I want to definitely give it away but just sit by the trash so somebody can get it because you just never know who might get a trash can and so like at the bottom, you guys, I'm out of breath. That's like a little gray part right here. That sits on the floor. So I'm gonna go in with there and just kind of wash it. Kind of get in there. And then I want to make sure I get inside again one more time before I pour everything out in the sink. You guys, like I said, I really got trash stocked up over here because um, I just got through eating. I really didn't eat all of my food, you guys. And make sure you wash your hands because you're messing with bleach. 
and I already feel like my, my hands are already like kind of burning so whenever you're using like bleach uh, substitute or whatever make sure you're washing your hands I'm going to go ahead and pour that out. And then the next step will be just to sit it outside and let it just air dry. Once, um, which I'll probably get it tomorrow um, after work. Or basically, I'm just going to towel dry it because... You guys, I bought a whole bunch of these towels at Ross uh, last week. And um, so I have enough of these towels to um, use for trash or whatever I need. I just got like multiple, like a lot of towels. But I normally, like I said, I normally will let this sit outside and let it dry, air dry. For this purpose, I'll just dry, hand dry it myself. You guys can see me hand dry it. So another thing I like to do um, is take the sprayer and stick it in the trash I'm just kind of get like all those particles that I've missed out of there and then get some of that bleach smell out of there I love that bleach smell but I don't like a lot of it Okay, so I'm going to go inside and just kind of, you know, clean it up, dry it out. put like a little uh, scented pod thing in there for my candle wax but I have this um, the sanitizer stuff that I put at the bottom just to keep the trash not smelling like you know just stink so just put this in there like that like so and then I'll put my bag in there You can use any kind of sanitizer at the bottom of your trash, but it does keep your trash can sanitize and it keeps your trash smelling good. Your trash can smelling good until your neck deep clean. Y'all don't want to come to y'all houses and y'all trash can bags just like looking all kind of crazy. I literally take my time and fix my trash bag. 
which I know y'all probably see. Eh, no, but I got time for that. Well, guess what? I got time. Okay. <laughs> I got time. So if y'all need me to come to y'all house and fix y'all trash bag the way that it's supposed to be fixed, I don't have a problem doing it. Okay. Because you my sis and you my brother. So, which leads us this top part of the um the top part of the trash so what i do is just kind of put this in my sink and let me fix y'all up because i need y'all to see so just put it in my sink and i go in with my sprayer just spread all that excess trash whatever is on there off let me show y'all what i'm talking about so so y'all see like that nasty gunk? Look at that nasty gunk in there. Disgusting. So I'm talking about that. That nasty part. I spray it down. Just to get like some parts wet because I know y'all said maybe it's unsanitary, unsanitary to do this in the sink, but if you wash your sink on a daily, it shouldn't be unsanitary to put your trash can top inside the sink. And I'm for one who washes my sink out, period. I wash my sink out for everything, okay? Leave nothing behind. <laughs> But, you know, to each his own, and to each his own home. Huh. So this is like the handle part that I love just to get under there, get in there, and clean it out. Tearing up this thin Mr. Clean sheet. But I know I'm turning it up for a reason. toe up for a reason like I get in the cracks and the, the, uh, the crannies <laughs> I can't even think of what I'm saying I get in the cracks and the crannies <laughs> not the nannies but the crannies Even though I'm not feeling my best, still having fun with y'all. Like, y'all my uplifters. So y'all. There's some parts you can't get just spread out. They'll come right out. So, go ahead and dry this top because we have cleaned that top. We have gotten it clean. Y'all, I guarantee you this trash will be right back dirty by the end of tomorrow night. I'm gonna throw that missing clean um, thin cleaner in the trash. Alright, so we got a clean top. We got a clean trash. We deep cleaned it. Like I said, by any means necessary, clean your trash can the way you like to clean your trash can. Don't copy me. But, if I have um, If I have given you a little advice on how to clean your trash can, you want just to follow my, follow my lead. <laughs> You're more than welcome to. When I say be careful with your bleaches and stuff, be careful with your bleaches and stuff. <laughs> so that top is fully cleaned. 
I'm gonna put that on top. Look, y'all. We got a clean trash. Oh my gosh, look at that trash. It's way better than what it was. We're gonna unlock it. Look inside. We got a nice clean, just clean all the way around. Oh my gosh, it's like new. <laughs> Buy another trash can for wood. <laughs> And then we got back here. It's just super duper clean. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today. October 4th. I hope I'm inspiring you guys to get up and clean one thing in your home. This 30 day challenge has been so good to me. Like, I'm even learning a lot of things about just cleaning every day, cleaning something different in your home every day, cleaning the things that you've been trying to clean for a while but just hadn't had time to. Like I said, if you work early in the morning, there's no way you're going to clean anything. So when you get off of work like I do, go for it. Go for it. Okay? You can cook dinner while you clean. Y'all seen how I did it. But anyways, I got to go. Bye.